Baker Oil Tools developed the world's first Level 6 multilateral junction with stackable capabilities. This stackable splitter system enables up to four hydraulically sealed junctions to be deployed and cemented in a single trip. Additionally, the lateral well bores can be drilled and completed in any order desired, resulting in maximum flexibility for the operator. The stackable splitter technology was designed with hydraulic stimulations in mind and meets the collapse and burst ratings of standard weight and grade casing as published by API without additional isolation requirements. Let's explore the process of creating a level 6 multilateral well with stackable capabilities. Once the intermediate string of casing has been set, drill the open hole section to the desired setting depth of the lowermost stackable splitter junction. Run in the hole with the stackable splitter on the production casing string. If multiple junctions are to be run, they will all be deployed as part of the common production casing string in a single trip. Note, no preforming, reforming, or underreaming is required at any time with this multilateral system. This system allows conventional cementing practices to cement the splitters in place. A straddle wiper plug is pre-installed in each splitter and used to isolate each lateral leg. As illustrated by the arrows, cement flows through the straddle plug bypassing the splitter and leaving a sanitary ID for location and orientation of the diverter system. A conventional wiper plug is pumped at the end of the cement job. This plug lands in and shears the straddle wiper assembly and carries it down hole where it will land and bump, confirming a successful cement operation. At this stage, the stackable splitter system allows for a very flexible drilling sequence. Drilling can begin top-down or bottom-up. The PDC drillable straddle plug is drilled out and the main bore lateral drilled to the desired depth. Run in the hole with the production liner and set in the main bore casing with a liner hanger. Production casing, slotted liners, screens or expandable casing and screen assemblies can all be run below each leg of the stackable splitter system. Using conventional cementing practices, cement the liner in place. After cementing, set the liner hanger packer and retrieve the liner hanger running tool from the well bore. Clean out as required. Continue with the completion of the main bore leg or proceed to drill out the next lateral. Run in the hole with the lateral diverter. The lateral diverter can be deployed via jointed pipe or coiled tubing. A universal bottom hole orienting sub, UBHO, or MWD survey tool is required to determine the azimuth and correct orientation of the lateral leg relative to the main bore leg. The diverter lands in the orienting locating profile nipple, ensuring proper alignment of the lateral diverter. With the known azimuth of the lateral leg, run in the hole with the directional drilling bottom hole assembly and drill the upper lateral hole section to desired depth. When drilling is complete, the liner and liner hanger assembly is installed in the lateral leg and cemented in place. After the lateral has been completed, the lateral diverter is retrieved and the well is now ready for the next phase of operations. Note, the preceding procedure is repeated for each stackable splitter that has been deployed down hole. For any questions or interest in Baker Oil Tools Stackable Splitter System, contact your local Baker Oil Tools representative. You may also visit us at our website, www.multilateralwells.com. Here you can see the Stackable Splitter System as well as the other multilateral systems available at Baker Oil Tools. We look forward to meeting your multilateral needs now and in the future.